Hi, I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com. This is another video in my series of videos about digital logic, and in this video I'm going to talk about priority encoders. Now, if you saw my previous video about encoders, you would see that uh, an encoder is just pretty much a bunch of OR gates, where if this one might represent 2, and this one represented 1, and this is 0, 1, 2, 3. 0 connects to nothing. This connects to 1. 2 connects there. And 3 connects like that. But a priority encoder allows you to choose inputs that are of higher priority than the others, or to order uh, which one will be displayed versus others. So for this example, I'm going to create a priority encoder where 3 has the highest priority and 0 has the lowest. All right, I'm just going to draw it a little bit bigger. All right, so we have the same OR gates over here. This is my 2. This is my 1, and uh, 3 comes and it goes to an inverter and then another inverter, which then goes to the 2 and the 1. So pretty much if this is uh, a 1, it becomes a 0 over here and a 1, and then we get the 3 displayed over here. Okay, now this seems a little bit weird until I show you this. 2 goes into a NAND gate and it taps, try a little better, it taps off of here and then we have another NOT gate and that's going up to here. All right, and so what this says is if 3 is a 1, and that makes this a 0 and a 1. Well, a 0 coming into here prevents this from ever, uh, let's see, when it's an AND gate, they both have to be high in order to put out a high, but in this case, uh, if they're both high, it'll put out a low. So if this is a low, it will prevent this from ever going low which will prevent this from ever going high, and so you can't just display 2. All right, that's a little bit confusing. Follow the circuit. My description wasn't the best, I'm sure. Uh, for this level, which is a lower priority than 2, I once again, I branch off, and then I still come off of this upper one. So now I run that into a NOT gate, and this is 1, so it goes into there. All right, well, we've got uh, the possibility of displaying 0 on there, but if none of these three are asserted, uh, we'll have 0 by default. So how do we make 0 be a valid state? And what we do is we tap off of here, and we bring these guys into an OR gate. And this is my valid output. So if any of these are high, this will go high, telling me that I have valid output. So if zero is asserted, valid output goes high, and we'll display zero over here. Um, you may or may choose to not use that. You may just have 1, 2, and 3. And if you have uh, another gate over here representing 4, well, then you'll have seven, 7 good states to choose from, which uh, might be valid for you. Um, 
and then you don't need this. So anyway, uh, that is a priority encoder. And if you enjoyed this video, take a look at my YouTube channel where I have other videos about digital logic. For robotbrigade.com, I'm Jack Buffington.